we serve like an unsettling amount of homeless students. And the percentage is at least like 40% last time I'd heard. 85% of the young people who come to high school for recorded notes have been out of school at least a year and a half. 60% are already involved in the juvenile justice system upon enrollment. So we're talking about some severe, severe obstacles to you know, their learning and their agency. We create a safe space for kids who maybe have challenges in their neighborhoods. Through that process, we're able to help guide them to earning their high school diploma and beyond. My brother, David, struggled in traditional school. He didn't like school, he got in trouble at school, he eventually got himself kicked out of St. Paul Public School System. And I ended up at a school called St. Paul Open School. And that school, it just changed my whole life. He graduated from an open school. But I was always in the music business. Yeah, record idea with Prince. The Minneapolis music scene just exploded. You know, he did the music thing and stuff, and he had a studio that was downtown, St. Paul. And it was in the Skywalk level. That's where all the kids that ditch school, where they're hanging out, they kept coming to my studio. And he said he would see these kids all the time and be like, where, are you, where aren't you supposed to be in school? You know, they had got kicked out or they pushed out. I related to that because that was my experience. You know, and they would say, you need to let us come in the studio. Okay, come on, I took them in the studio and threw the beat up on the track. They were like geniuses. Here were young people who school said weren't ready to learn, coming to a studio, wanting to learn. He just was like, man, I gotta give back. And I was like, that's cool, that's, that's real. And that's when he had the whole idea to flip the studio into a school. And that's how the High School for Recording Arts was created. High School for Recording Arts is a charter school located in St. Paul, Minnesota. We are a project-based school that deals with a population of young people that have interest in music and visual arts. With the classes that we have, they still all need to be looking at what am I teaching and where does it fit with the state standards, even if we're not doing a traditional class. We've been around since 1998. We have right now a little over 250 students enrolled. And we work with students who are mostly coming from chaotic situations in their community or their family. And a lot of them have been kicked out of the traditional school system. This school is a safe haven. A lot of times these kids get given up on. I was homeless for 60 days, mama shy. I called, I said, Mom, I ain't got nowhere to go. She like, come here. Home was high school for recording art. This was my home. It was what made me successful. This school is like, come on in. Are you new to the school? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, when'd you start? I know you're gonna fall. I, <laughs> I know you're gonna cuss. I know you're gonna smoke. I know you're gonna drink. Give me a, a, a couple bars. What you, what you got? but go ahead and do that. And when you're done, come on back. And I'm still gonna be here. And a lot of kids don't have that. And that's what this place is. One of the things we've always done here is build a culture around what it means to see college as a possibility. We've had 100% of our students accepted into college over the last plus 10 years. Boogie and King say, die will get you there faster. AP said, I'm going with the spinner. To a person who's a traditionalist, if you really believe in the, you know, the old school model of education, you would look at our school probably like the RCA dog, like, huh, like, <laughs> what's going on here? The studio is here is available, the cameras, the visual arts, a lot of the things that they really are interested in, and we use those things to teach. So really, Hip Hop 101, Basically, we get together and I'm like, all right, we feel the vibes out. We're like, what do we want to write about today? I'm like, you know, what, what does HSRA mean to you? So they basically wrote all that down and then we recorded it. 
I hear from the trenches, I'm a youngin', but I'm trying to stay humble. They're already implementing metaphors, verbs, adjectives right in their music. I mean, there's so many like different learning techniques that are in there without even being said. Our teachers, our educators in this space are trained to looking at all the core areas, English, math, social studies, and science. How do we infuse creativity into that? This whole project is about them creating a physics project. So in my Algebra 2 class, we're running the first student-operated and student-owned school store. Since this is our own kind of like small school business. And it came out of their excitement for entrepreneurship. You know, they want to work for themselves. So we did market research to identify like what kind of business would be successful at this school. They're seeing the purpose of collecting data and knowing the difference between qualitative and quantitative. Definitely learning about how to create your own business. I mean, in a sense, it's just kind of tricking students into doing math. So there's someone here named Scott who kind of teaches students about like how to copyright your music, how to stream your music and get your music out there. Young people need to know this information. DMI is a new nonprofit that is an attachment to HSRA. DMI was created to create an extra year for students that want to really get serious about their experience within the studio space here at HSRA. Because we connect with industry as a school, that also opens up the gateway to create bridges between the industry and the students. Every student that graduated last year is working in the field. This is an amazing, magical place. Earn credit. <laughs> Where so many students have started here with nothing and have become superstars in the music industry. Mr. Franks, he produced Ariana Grande's last album. He graduated from this school. He used to share pants with his friend because they both were homeless. Family, we need respect. Our community of education. The young people that have gone through here, that have said they never even thought graduation was possible for them, for their parents to come. You have people come in and say their kids have never been successful in school, and they come here and they thrive and they love school. And that's an incredible thing to be a part of. These kids are real artists. They just ain't famous yet and they have access to all of this stuff. It don't cost them nothing. If my mom wouldn't have found HSRA, like there's, there's, I went to graduate school, there's no way. And I went to learn, I mean, everything that I've learned through this school, just about life, myself. What high school that you know that can make you take all your anger out on a, on a beat? There ain't nobody getting hurt. That's amazing for me. We have so many success stories. There's so many examples of you know young people who have come through this institution and done phenomenal things in the world. So I think we're on to something here. <laughs>